Y'all, y'all making, y'all making a, a fortune off that popular film. It's a Disney movie That's about a society see. of animal people. You know, bunnies, yeah. giraffes, donkeys. Almost every right. animal you can think of, it was there. You can see why it's so popular. My problem with this movie is not the movie itself. Right. It's the community it created. Have a show about President Prey living at one. Come on, bro. What is this? Or this? Or this? Like, y'all can call me a crazy conspiracy theorist, but I know they played into it on purpose. Like, they literally have this one scene in the movie where I made right. clear the bunnies, the giraffes, the donkeys, yeah. all those. They're missing one very, very popular animal. That's right. They're King Kongs. They look for nine-tailed foxes and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something that I've come to love as I've gotten older. I wasn't one to sit down and watch many of them when I was younger, but nowadays I like to consider myself a movie goer, a connoisseur. However, as you guys may know, for every few good movies, there's always the weird one. That movie- For one, they just do be having some type of scene that be weird movie that you don't want your kids to be watching or to like, I said once like uh, 10 or maybe 11, 12. But sometimes movies can actually get a little weird, like a little, little weird, like daytime. That, 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 that I don't know. But that leaves you was, so uncomfortable, or so confused, or so. It do move. Some know, movies do make you confused. Today, I'll be going over some of the movies I thought, and even some of y'all thought were super weird. Like one weird movie that immediately comes to mind is Zootopia. Now this one may be a surprise to y'all because it's such a popular film. It's a Disney movie about a society. Wait, 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 wait. Now this one may be a surprise to y'all because it's such a pop. So you tell me, Zootopia from the box office got one point twenty five billion. Jeez. Y'all, y'all making, y'all making a, uh, a uh, fortune off that popular film. It's a Disney movie about a society of animal people, you know, bunnies, yeah. giraffes, donkeys, almost every right. animal you can think of, it was there. You can see why it's so popular, but I regret to inform you, yeah. it's weird. Don't how, wrong, wait, 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 how, how movie, weird? The usual Disney twist villain, and All a right. really powerful message about the prejudice minorities can face. You know, I liked it, but... I can't help but think Mickey knew what this would create. He knew where the money was. He knew who the target demographic was. Those dang furries. I was like 13 at the time this movie released, and okay. I already knew this thing was going to do post-mortem numbers in the furry aye. community. Yeah, aye. that's right. My problem with this movie is not the movie itself. It's what? the community it created. Y'all know I don't like judging people on this channel. Mm -hmm. Often. But the Zootopia fandom is... Weird. Like, come and, and Jotopia supposed to be one of the movies that uh, show you that predator and prey can live at one and not e or not separate or equal to each other. Where where prey gotta stay with their own kind and predator gotta stay with their own kind. And like you don't think that a prey can actually be friend with a predator or predator? Like that, that was Jotopia supposed to be. But what weirdness that it show? Have show about predator and prey living at one. Come on, bro. What is this? Or this? Or this? Like what? Y'all can call me a crazy conspiracy theorist, but I know they played into it on purpose. Like they literally have this one scene in the movie where our main right. characters go to like this yoga place, and uh -huh. every animal there has no clothes on. Like All they're right. meant to be naked. I get it's supposed to be funny, ha ha. But pause. We got elephant poom poom. Oh wait, so if if I re -ro 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 it, I I can I can see I can see why that episode it, it a little, little weird. I can I can see, but isn't an elephant and all the other ammo are technically naked in real life? So why is like weird when when? Animal who got clothes, seeing other animal out clothes. But I think you they trying to represent like how humans uh, do where it is wrong for a human to go out their house in public and just walk around naked and not go to jail. I can see why, but in this situation, it like they don't get arrested, but if we did it, we go to jail. So I don't, I, don't get, I don't get the weirdness in there. Wall up in your face. Like, talking about some yoga. What kind of sick cover up is this? This is a daddy party for animals. Then, if you also notice, out of all the animals I mentioned earlier, the bunnies, the giraffe, the donkeys, yeah. all those, they're missing one very, very popular animal. That's right. 
Monkeys. There's no form of monkeys in Zootopia at oh, all. Oh, he is no right. Apes, no chimps, no baboons. Yeah, no, the no is that they want to far away from humans. Be a, a monk that sits in a Zootopia, cremate your removal for being too similar to humans, while not mammal were removed to symbolize the movie setting. So, should you say monkey were too real to us? I don't know, but why not put monkey in it? Like, you put every type of animal we can name in there, but not monkey. No monkey, no gorilla, no nothing. That crazy. Humans are too close to humans, blah, blah, blah. That's obviously a lie. Bad excuse. I ain't even come from a monkey. My mom is clearly human, okay? Yeah. The reason they actually excluded them is because no furries dress up as monkeys. They're still pandering. When you think of furry, monkey doesn't come to mind. That would have been bad marketing. Furries don't look at Curious Georges or King Kongs. They look for nine-tailed foxes and... And Charizards for some reason? Ugh. That's the yeah. only reason they wouldn't include monkeys. Either that or they foresaw this whole Pac situation we got going on in the world right now. That would low-key be a good reason too. Another movie I found weird was, what? was Hoodwink. You see, this one also has a large animal cast, but oh, it doesn't oh. have a weird fan base like Zootopia. Yeah, yeah, and it, it it's low key it it Like the movie is genuinely enjoyable. It's just, it's a huge fan. For one, Hoodwink, it actually a dope movie. Cause it represents a book of uh, Red Riding Hood, but it, it twists it up and make it even cooler than what the book really say about. Fever Dream. It's more of a what is even going on kind of weird. This movie's a spin on the Little Red Riding Hood story, but instead of it being the classic, oh, Granny got turned into a wolf again, it's a whodunit movie. A mystery movie where we go through the perspectives of the entire cast. Little Red, the grandma, the wolf, a lumberjack, and a squirrel to find out who's going around stealing recipes and goodies from around the woods. Now, while the plot of this movie is simple, these characters are all over the place. Little Red now knows karate like she's a part of Cobra Kai or something. The grandma, instead of being a helpless grandma, is like this action movie adrenaline junkie. The big bad wolf isn't bad at all and is voiced by the guy from Emperor's New- Yeah, like literally, if you look at this, you got Red Ryan Hood, that no karate, grandma, action star, a good wolf, not bad wolf, good wolf, I don't even know about the lumberjack or the lumberjack. I don't know what the lumberjack do. Was the lumberjack even in the book? If, if y'all can find that Red Riding Hood book or the poem, whatever, then tell me down in the comment. Was the lumberjack even in the book? What, like, was he even in the book or poem anyway? New groove. The lumberjack isn't a lumberjack. He's an aspiring actor. And the squirrel? This dude is clearly off that snow. These characters are ridiculous. They even got that one goat that went viral on TikTok. The did I, did I, did I, did I, did I do? Thank you. Thank you. Another thing for me was this movie's what? animation. Because it's like really, really bad. Like sometimes it's hilariously bad. But other times, uh, other times it was just scary. This movie also reminded me of how silly the original Red Riding Hood story is. Because if you can mistake your grandma for an 180 pound wolf, then that says something about your granny. I'm sorry. Take her to a Brazilian wax place or something. Because that's... Yeah, that, that do say something. And you mistake your grandma as somebody else. Something really, really wrong with you because how how you can mistake anybody in your family right but if you mistake your grandma or your grandpa as an animal there's something wrong with you house but those are the more silly animated movies that's not the ones that are hard to watch like a movie like the human centipede I don't think I have to explain why this one was so disturbing. I mean, the title pretty much tells you a crazy Ugh. scientist wanted to make a human centipede I've never for some seen reason. So centipede, he made a human yeah, centipede yeah. for some reason. I mean, that know more about it, how it works. Yeah. Just watch that South Park episode. I'm not even gonna recommend the movie. Yeah, I'm I, 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 I to watch, watch South Park. Midsummer. Like you know instead of the human centipede, I recommend to watch South Park. Like if you've never seen the movie, don't watch it. Just watch South Park. And now, if you're a kid, please avoid this movie. And if you're an what? adult, definitely avoid this movie. Unless you go through some form of mind strengthening training, just don't watch it. This movie is the definition of uh, uncomfortable. It touches upon and shows a bunch of stuff that could get this video the age restriction of death. So, you too, please chill. This movie's about this girl named Danny and her boyfriend who are not in the happiest of relationships, I'll say. They're a little toxic and 
the boyfriend might not love her anymore. And after Danny goes through her very own Sasuke Uchiha origin story, like, it was bad. Her, her boyfriend, and some friends go up to Sweden for this super rare once in a blue moon midsummer festival. And when they get there, that's when stuff gets weak. The people in this village are pretty much a cult with these weird practices like euthanizing their elders, making some, some strong bloody Marys, I'll say, taking hallucinogens, and debatably, debatably, the worst one, human sacrifices. Surprise! This this cult is a murderous one and these dudes do not play they kill one dude for trying to take a picture of their sacred text which is like i right, might be a little understandable but kill him then they murk the couple that came with them for just trying to leave they drowned who will even want to watch the movie i don't know if i've been making no not making the movie but if i saw a director i asked him what are your reasons to write the movie anyway then i will go to the stinking actor and ask, what are your reasons for ending the movie anyway? The girlfriend and performed the blood eagle on the boyfriend. I don't know if y'all know what the blood eagle is, but it's bad. Then they killed one dude yeah. for being on a tree. Like, come on. You killed dude He's for being on a nature. tree. These cult people are evil. They're sick. Like, what's going on, PewDiePie? I, I thought Swedish people were chill. And that wasn't even the worst of it yet. What? The worst of it was the ending of the movie. So after all their friends got brutally packed up, all that's left is Danny and her boyfriend, who are both mentally shattered at this point. If it's not from all them drugs, it's from, it's from those strong drinks. And after Danny witnesses what looks like her boyfriend cheated on her, and I say looks like, because I I assure you that is not what was happening the village people crown her the queen of the midsummer festival she gets a choice to sacrifice her now paralyzed cheater boyfriend and yes they, they did paralyze him or a random sweet old innocent villager and obviously she chooses the boyfriend this scene is just so messed up because it's like okay he's not the best person but if yeah. you know the context of what danny saw happen in that room this is just a huge misunderstanding the dude did not cheat on her it was more like he was being forced to cheat if you get what i'm saying then after danny's decision they burn all the sound what 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 the what is going on in the movie I, the movie has so much elfing like a KKKKK. Can't show that picture. But you know what I'm trying to say. Sacrifices in this like triangle building. All the Swedish people start screaming and dancing, and Danny smiles, finally feeling content. Content in quotations because she pretty much lost her mind. When you finish this movie, it's just like. What did wait, I just wait, watch? What? Wait, 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 wait. This movie was made by the same dude who made Hereditary and The Strange Thing About the Johnsons. And if you've never seen that film, now that. <laughs> That's a weird film. But although Midsummer scarred me, there is one movie that what? scarred me even worse. One movie that I watched around the same time as Utopia, and it's another animated movie. Sausage Party. I'm sure some of y'all remember. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, have you never seen Sausage Party 1 and 2? I recommend y'all, if y'all want to watch it, watch it. But I recommend y'all to shut y'all on kids eye, like like cover the eye when they get to a weird part. It's gonna be a couple. It's gonna be a couple of weird part. I ain't saying not, but it's not gonna be a lot. But y'all know, and then when y'all see it, y'all think, oh, so this what they trying, and y'all y'all know what what they trying to uh, uh, show you. Y'all gonna know what they trying to show you. So. If, if that ever happened, cover y'all kids' eyes. Like, immediately cover their eyes. Remember this one, and if you don't, good. Don't remember. It's about these sentient food and grocery store items who see us humans as gods. Stop it, bro. Even Celtics fans go grocery shopping from time to time. And those are the least godly things on Earth. And after a group of them find out what humans really be doing with our food, they start trying to warn the other items. And this movie is like the dark toy story for foods, because we really see how messed up stuff looks from their perspective. Like, they had this whole scene that looked like Omaha Beach on D-Day with grapes. Or like, like, literally, from, if, if you a fool, right, from any fool, and you look at their perception of what we do to them, it's dark. Like, I'd rather just go on the world, go where the iron tip at, and just stay there forever. Because it's really dark. PB and J all getting brutally murked. And it looks super intense and super scary and super sad. When in reality, it was just a clean up on aisle five. But this movie really did have me feeling bad. Yeah, in reality. Like, if I had no my salami like, plantains or really going through it like that, 
then I wouldn't have. No, no, that's a lie. I'm still eating them. But weirdest of all, this movie had me worried that my salami and plantains might be trying to get freaky deaky with each other. Yes, that's the weirdest part of this movie. It's not what us humans do to our food or the literal evil douche running around. It's all the freaky tension throughout this movie. Like these food items were itching to get one in. And Sorry for pausing right here, but a certain part of that movie, like you can tell that most of them food we're trying to get a little, little freak action, a little, 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 little nudge action for nut action because they're, they're a little wounded though. I'm talking about like you can see a little slip up every time of them talking about trying to nudge each other. And this this right here is pure for thing. And they've been asking for food, bro, we'll never go to jail for what they be doing. They will never go to jail for what they do. And don't get me wrong, it's funny, <laughs> but that is a scary concept if you ask me. I would hate to have finished doing groceries and the second I walk out my kitchen, these dudes start trying to get their freak on. Like, yeah. Like, you the weekend come from your fridge, you right. know what's going on. You, you, hate, wasn't... you hate to go in your fridge and, and five seconds say, oh, I'm thirsty, let me get some water. And all of a sudden you see, you see some, some food nudging, get their freak on. We already got the freakiest, most adult, mm -hmm. most most R food PG scene in any movie ever. That should never soda, happen. So I'm gonna throw up a huge sensor bagel or something and break down what happens. But be warned, it's graphic. So first, the wiener and the bun start all over the top shelf in front of everyone. And then out of nowhere, the taco comes in with her leg and so then the other foods are like, damn, I wanna be left out. So then they all start And the good part about it, most of the food are actually great. But instead of them being straight, they so horny that they say, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care if I gotta turn, turn gay and R. Kelly in style. I'll turn gay, I'll turn gay. These fools are so horny that they make the straight fool after the game. Like, you tell me, you've been straight your whole time life and all of a sudden, your own, own gender, your own race an obtuse angle and then they and just when you thought it was over the bagel comes in and with his elbow and then he yeah it, 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 you thought it was, it was crazy i mean even the juice over. was all over the place and in the end they all just on the at the same time so it was pretty much a diddy party for foods that was pretty yeah. much all the movies i wanted to go over today there's a lot more that i thought were weird like the B movie, as my boy Ken said, why are you leaving your boyfriend for a B? I don't know. Comment down below any more movies you guys want me to go over and maybe a.